What is going on, guys? The Crow's here coming at you with another little movie review. So, how you guys doing? I'm doing it myself. So, today, I'm making a new special edition Crow Show. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's just a regular Crow Show movie review. I like saying that a lot. So, today, we're going to be reviewing the X Men Apocalypse movie. Now, this movie was probably the best X Men movie I've seen since The Last Stand. Um, X-Men Origins, besides the fact that the Deadpool was awful, and then The Wolverine, I thought this movie was absolutely kick-ass. The whole time I was watching the movie, there was nothing but surprises. That is why I am rating this movie 10 out of 10 for the best freaking experience in a Marvel X-Men movie I have ever seen in my life. Now, some people might think differently about this review that I'm giving because they don't like the fact that the X-Men are young fighting Apocalypse because in the original comic, they actually fought Apocalypse as adults. Also, if you're hearing a bunch of, like, wind distortion in the background, that's my, that's my air conditioner because it is hot as hell in my room and I need to be cool. So that's the reason why if you hear that sound, that's what's going on. Uh, anyways, basic back on topic. X-Men Apocalypse actually had a lot of surprises, a lot of new characters, a lot of old characters come into the mix, and I actually enjoyed every bit of it. Jennifer Lawrence, mm, still hot as hell, still pretty as hell, definitely would want to screw the absolute f uh, on, Also, on her, her acting skills and everything, they, they were spot on with her Mystique character. She's always been good at Mystique. I enjoy watching her as that character. They should have made her Mystique in the first time, but the, f the first ever Mystique in the first three X movies, she was good too. But I'm saying Jennifer Lawrence, I prefer her more than the last person that played Mystique. Um, also, uh, the fact that uh, nobody knew who the Wolverine in this movie would be, uh, I was actually really happy to see, spoiler alert, uh, that Hugh Jackman came back as the Wolverine. And it, the way they made it seem is actually old-fashioned from the um, X-Men 2 uh, Wolverine's Revenge video game on the PS2 um, made him look the way he did in the video game. But that's all I'm going to spoil for right now, besides the fact I'm going to show you some extra footage at the end credits if you guys haven't seen the end, if you haven't seen the movie. Uh, don't watch that. Um, I don't know when it'll come up. Probably come up right after I'm done uh, talking. But uh, if you have seen it and you know what you're talking about, please leave in the comments below what this end credit uh, scene meant. Because I have no clue what it meant. I'm getting speculations that it has to do with Deadpool, but I have no clue whatsoever and what it might have to do with. Hopefully, it actually has something to do with Deadpool. I'd actually really, really enjoy that if it really was. I don't know. Who knows? I don't know. If you know, tell me. If you're an X Men expert, tell me in the comments below what that end credit scene meant, because I need to know. Also, the fact that uh, Magneto and the relationship between Quicksilver is still yet to be determined, that's keeping me on edge to want to keep watching X-Men, so that's good on uh, Fox Century's part, good job on that. Um, Brian, uh, whatever your name is, Brian Finger, whatever, you, the person who makes the X-Men movies, you did a really good job making this movie redeem itself from the last one, which was Days of Future Past, because I didn't enjoy Days, I did enjoy Days of Future Past, but at the same time, the ending and everything just changed the whole universe, which really pissed me off, and I didn't like that. That was ridiculous, that was stupid, and I'm glad they redeemed yourself with this movie, because it was fucking awesome the whole time I was watching it. Um, Apocalypse's character, the person who played Apocalypse, uh, that was an amazing performance. I have to say, 10 out of 10 for your performance on being Apocalypse. Uh, Cyclops, Gene, everything was just 100% spot on with their characters. Great job. Love the movie. Highly recommend it that you go see it. I will be making a review on a. I will be making a spoiler review with this movie when, it, when I'm ready, but only when I'm ready. And I'm probably only going to do that when Suicide Squad comes out. I'm not entirely sure when that'll be, but that's in August sometime. Yeah, that's in August. So I'll be making a spoiler review on this movie and Suicide Squad when Suicide comes out. After I make the review on Suicide Squad just by itself without the spoilers, and then I'll make you know that that whole situation. So, uh, if you guys uh, enjoyed the X-Men movie, please leave in the comments below what rating you give it out of 10, and tell me why you gave it that rating, be respectful of others, be respectful towards me, uh, making these videos is actually really important to me, it's important to other people who haven't seen my channel and stuff like that, it's important that you give them a very good experience on my channel, so please be sure to give your rating on the movie and give a good reason why, but be respectful towards others and their ratings. So, uh, I'm glad you guys enjoyed me on this awesome pro show. I had to make a review on this movie because it was 100% worth watching. I cannot wait to get all the X-Men movies all together because I'm still on the hunt for all of them. And I am not stopping until I have all of the freaking X-Men movies. So, uh, I will be making another video on Q&A for this month because I almost completely forgot that Q&A was supposed to be done. So, I'll be making that real soon. 
Uh, and I also have ideas to talk about involving a movie I'm going to be making on the Crow 2019, but I'll be talking about that on the Crow 2019, so go ahead and subscribe. I'll leave it in the description below. Go and check it out, and I'll tell you what it is. And yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you very soon. Bye-bye. What the hell are you?